kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part five and the last part of my video series on WhatsApp status downloader using Android Studio. Okay, guys. So in this video, now we are going to uh, uncomment these two lines, and we are now going to create the item click listener for these two methods. Uh, for this method, sorry, download media item. So now let's get started and move on. Okay, guys. So now we can first of all say public view dot on click listener, and we can. Say download media item, then we can have final file and source file. Okay, so we are going to send the we are sending the source file here. You can see the current file. Then inside our on click listener, now we are going to return new view dot on click listener, and in here we can. Override the method on click. Okay, so inside our on click, we are now going to use new runnable, and here we can implement or or I mean override the method run. And in here, inside our run method, okay, so here we can uh, say dot run. Okay, so inside our run method, what we are going to do is we are now we need to create another method of uh, name. Copy file, so we will be copying the file from one directory due to the other. I mean, from the WhatsApp directory to status directory to our own directory. Okay, so for that, first of all, we will be requiring the source file, and okay, before that, let's create a new file. So we can say file file equal to new file, and here we can say environment dot get external storage directory. Dot. Sorry. Two string. Plus the directory save plus source file. Dot get name. All right. And then inside our copy file method, we are going to send the source file and file, or we can. Say dust file. Okay, destination file. So we will, we are sending the source file and then the destination location, or I mean the destination file to our copy file method. And after that, we are going to use this snack uh, this snacky. Uh, so we can say snacky dot builder dot okay i guess it is small dot set snacky dot builder dot set activity and here we can pass the activity then we can also say dot set text and we can say save to gallery so we can say dot success and finally we can say dot show Alright, it is saying giving me an error. So we just copy that and paste it here. And here we can say save to gallery. Alright. And after that, 
now we are going to use I mean create the method copy and file and here we now have the source file and the destination file so now we are going to check if the destination file dot get parent file dot exist then we does not exist then we can say destination file dot get parent file dot mkdirs make directory okay then we can also check if this file dot exists then we can say destination file dot create new file and here we will be adding the exception io exception then we can first of all say file channel we will be using the file channel first of all we will have source equal to null then we have file channel destination equal to null and then we will have the source uh, source equal to new file input stream and we will be passing the source file dot get channel then we will also be using the destination equal to new file output stream and here we will be using the def file dot get a channel okay so now we have the both channels ready for source and destination so we can now say def file dot trans okay so we can say destination dot transfer from and we will be passing source then we will be having position of index 0 and then we will be uh, descending the size of our source file okay so now after that we can say if source is not equal to null source dot close and also we can check if destin not equal to null and then we can say okay so instead of desk file it was destination we can say destination dot close all right guys so now this is this is complete code for our whatsapp status downloader app so okay so here we are having an error let me see where is the error here okay so now let's round it with uh, uh, try catch block okay so now our application is working i mean the coding is complete so first of all let me give you uh, again a review of what we have done in this app okay so first of all we had set up the recycler view here and the text view then inside our main activity dot java file here we initialize the recycler view and then we had the whatsapp directory location then here we have uh, we set up the my adapter okay so and we sent we fetched all the files i mean the video files and the images files and we sent it here and then we send the context of our this class sent okay and we missed it we now need to write the cycler view the set adapter and here we can pass the cycler adapter okay so now our application code is complete so after that uh, inside our cycler view uh, in my adapter so now we have received the array list of type file and then we also received the activity object here and then inside our own create view holder so we just set up the we insulated the view which we created here the circular view so here we had 
uh, a card view then inside that card view we have to use a video view and the button to download then again we have the card view for image then we have image view and the button okay it was a very simple layout then inside we inflated it and then inside our own bind view holder uh, before that let me show you the file holder class here we had initialized all the controls i mean the views then after that inside our own bind view holder method we set up uh, the current position i mean the current selected file um, then here we set up the own uh, set on click listener for our the for the button then we check if the file is file and file path and with dot mp4 that it then it means that it is a video file then we just set up uh, i mean we set the visibility uh, of the ca image card view to go to go on and then the video card view to visible then we uh, fetch the uri of that video f file then after that we just uh, played the video in using the video view set on prepared listener then inside our else part so it means that we have the image so for that we just set up the bitmap and then we just uh, decoded the bitmap file the current file i mean then we just set the image view to our bitmap okay so then we implemented the view dot on click listener then here we just uh, use the copy file method um, which means that we can transfer or copy a file from one directory to another then here we have the source file and the destination file so inside our copy file okay so now i guess it's complete so let me connect my phone and let's see if it worked or not yes before that we already had uh, we needed to add the dip, uh, the, the user permission so for that we needed to have write and read so for that here we can have write and read user permission read external storage and write external storage ok so now let's run the app and let's see if it works or not at the first time i guess it will not work because we have not generated the user permission ok so yes you can see that you have not watched any whatsapp status <laughs> currently then here inside are the settings part we are going to give the, the user permission let me see what is the name of the app ok whatsapp status tutorial let's enable the permission then if we open the whatsapp status so you are able to see ok so you are able to see all these statuses so guys if you like the video and if you like the series please like it and subscribe goodbye